conference center, I will not say you building, as um, the immigration officer them in the new uniform, the march from you building for go Miata, I mean, sorry, um, Fritton City Council. You see them in the green attire, well, green uniform all over. And then you see some light green and uh, uh, deep green. This, the police officer, of course, now the commander. And I see a lot of people in the field fit. That um, I think, say, for quite a long time, we know the see immigration officer in the march. But um, this, now. Uh, it will therefore be a landmark thing, as I tell you. Well, we get the chief immigration officer, of course. The, the glasses. We? Yeah. The glasses, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Morning. Yes, sir. What are you talking to, sir? You talk to the chief immigration officer, the Honorable Alusain Kane. Right. And now, um, people, um, this is a laudable um, venture. For now, we get this for the very uh, first time. First time. Mm -hmm. um, now, what does this mean? This means progress for our country, Sierra Leone. This means um, better immigration departments for the Republic of Sierra Leone. This means that this country gets to move forward. We need to be serious for take this country to another level. And I'm determined and ready to move the immigration department to a higher level, and this is what you are saying today. Right. Now, um, you decide how you decide for the uh, people to identify immigration officers. You see, in the first place, I make sure that for the first time in the history of this country, immigration officers don't go for training in a PTS, police training school, Hastings campus. For men, they will be well equipped, disciplined, with integrity, for make sure said this country, now we get, now we, now the face of Sierra Leone, the immigration, but for make sure say we do the right thing, and now that make today, you see them for the first time. They the brace, they the parade, they the take salute, for the first time in the history of this country. And I say for B, I believe say, we for ready for moving this country forward, we for ready for do the right thing for Sierra Leone, and I thank also, I want to say thanks to the president, the retired Brigadier Jealous Mandabio, for appointing me because I have passion for this job. I like this job. This is the job I ever want since I came back to Sierra Leone. But thank God, God don't give me a true the president. I want to say thanks to the president. Hey, I'm not going to make a shame. This, this is going to be one of the legacies. This could be one of the legacies where it will be proud of in this country. I'm ready today, I'm ready tomorrow for my mobile institution forward. All right. Now, moving forward, now, with this uniform, what are the next step? The next step that for go after. Now, they have the powers to arrest, detain, hmm? and then to make, make sure they when they comply with the with call services, they go after them also for make sure say, now you can see, you see, the, you see them. They are ready. When they face, when they face you, you will know the military or the police or the immigration. It's before you. We are ready, man. 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 Thank you. We are ready, man. Thank you. All right, that's the chief immigration officer. We nine at the CIO. And of course. So now then the march for go up to the Freetown City Council as you can see them. And you hear from the chief immigration officer that them people are so ready. They're ready for arrest. Because when you see them, you could definitely know say they are ready for uh, action. Because it's a way we able to identify um, officers like this. We we'll get, of course, one that will come out from Bo, Pujao, Bond.
all about this country, all immigration officers will be in this attire. They self, they wear their uniform, they got a different position, different stars, different stripes, they that their shoulder. This now selected few we they demonstrate in their uniform. We happen today, first of November 2024. The head office said uh Gloucester Street. and also the Sierra police. As soon as you see, of course, the name and different attire, you see the top green and the deep green, some white cards, some white crosses, um, and then a different, different kid we will get for no later because they get for go assemble na Freetown City Council. Now they they will go tell we a lot about how come then go into this. This time for recognize the immigration officer in this country that now they will get the power for arrest and um, even charge you to court. Well, we did come go over to New Englandville as um, we're going to bring on our highlights of waiting to take place as the immigration officer at the match for go uh, now the Fulton City Council. Well, I'll go on and over now to New Englandville. Yeah. At the stop. <laughs> okay. Mr. Mosi. What are you posting for the day? I tell you, the mouse is for you. Let me try for That police motor. Well, uh, from Blem, we're almost done the approach. Um, Freetown City Council, Usai, the immigration officer that they can assemble. Of course, they never can tell me exactly how they arrive. For we will get uniform. So, we just they run down Gloucester Street.
All right. Well, the um, match pass don't come to the Freetown City Council, Usai. Everybody, the car assemble. For later, we will get more insights on the well, they call it our green movement, and we see Sinai Group. We, of course, can support the chief immigration officer, and then we see other people actually from different area or the different parts of the society they can give support to this the match pass actually now with the new um, uniform we the immigration officer they can display That now the Salem Police Band. Now they lead the procession. All right. The Salem Police Band they give some sweet melody. As you see that the new uniform this way the immigration officer and they put on now as from today we're at the first of November 2024 all around you will see immigration officer they now with this uniform and um, you the other color we're gonna three you will get two different color them one way they wear light green top and bright green skirts you can see some get two star one star some get two stripe some get three stripe they're all the immigration officer belong to different department them now the immigration department Now the immigration officer then, then brand new uniform. It's now the salute for personal service. Brass band.
Well, in case you just to join me, this is uh, the Sierra Leone Immigration Department. The brand new uniform I am pulling out today. Of course, you see um, a green. Because if you go all about, you know, you see immigration officer them in green. So we self don't join the line. All right, of course, the Salon police, uh, they give support to the Salon Immigration Department as then they march. Of course, they're not much from Meata Conference Center up to U Building. All right. Well, we just see the Inspector General of Police, of course, safe can attend. Two. And um, we get um, the Director of uh, Traffic Control, where na ACP Major is in attendance. And of course, SF can give their support to the Saloon Immigration. But it's a little venture whereby we they see immigration officer them in uniform. Uh, in uniform, you get all over green uh, from top to bottom. Then you get light green, of course, and deep green. This now the. Um, uniform where you go for C as from today the first of November twenty twenty four. So Sierra Leone immigration department done uplift so that you go able for recognize them and you go able for identify them because now according to the chief immigration officer they get power for arrest. We call them go look around the city. If uh, anybody there in the country we not get permits for there so the immigration officer gets all the right for arrest you. Because we may see we can see what they have in another country, like the, the we get the CDS of course they are so with we. Um, instead of come in attendance for give the supports to this occasion. Well, at any moment from now, we will go for assemble at the hall for they will get an insight of this program. On how the immigration officer then with a new uniform this very new for quite a long time yes then they get uniform but not just too easy for identify but this one you go for identify them clearly recognize them as well as 
immigration officers. Well, we understand, say, the Indian officer, they can take salutes. And um, after the inspection, we go go into the hall. And then we go get, for, get an insight into how they arrive. At this point, forget uh, into uniform. We, of course, not a loadable venture, so easy now for identify with an immigration officer, with an a police, with an a soldier, with an a council officer, with an a um, forest guard, so forth and so on. Well, the chief immigration officer, they can take salutes and you can take the salutes All right, immigration officer, um, chief immigration officer, they do an inspection, guard of honor. The chief immigration officer, they take an inspection. That not the chief immigration officer of just just take the guard of honor inspection of the officers them we pay attention nah the the everybody listen up
pull them out. So pull it out, sir. Granted. All right, in the fallout now, and um, of course, then they go into the hall as the Especially doing that. Sure. Yeah, we don't. Good morning. It's a very important day. 
day of the public service to be attaining of the departments, not only on the issues of the government of all of us to unveil the uniforms in the immigration department. For some time, that is part of the past, that is good and changes. Service delivery. The most notable of recent was the transformation from police. I was Officer, so your mission is a checklist. When people see you, they know you are representing an institution. So we are admonishing all of you to ensure that this uniform represents not only the department but the country. I want to congratulate you for the first set of people who have been fortunate to be part of this call to wear this uniform. And I want to say this country looks up to you for better representation. On that note, distinguished lady, I invite one of our ministers again, the Minister of Transport and Education, to the high table. <laughs> the honorable the Minister of Transport is very key to the aviation and to cross-border issues. Mr. Minister, you are welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we now continue with the program. We have done some amendments as appropriate. Now the immigration department invited us to this function and it is was fitting based on the amendment that we request the chief immigration officer to give us a welcome address along with to give Libya the issues and will tell us the purpose of this meeting. Honorable thank you. Thank you, thank you. The Secretary to the Vice President, Dr. Emmanuel A. R. Gaiba, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Brigadier David Talo, Members of Parliament, Ministers of Government, Head of Agencies, Distinguished guests, the fourth estate, I'm sorry, the fourth estate, the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, kindly allow me to stand on the existing protocols. Occasion, as we launch the new security uniforms for Sierra Leone Immigration Department, the Immigration Department was completely detached from the main body of the security architecture of Sierra Leone. When political pundits, members of the security sector, and the public discourse the department, all we hear is exploitation, congested, and a congested entity. Today is not merely a celebration of a new attire, it is a statement of our revolution, our readiness, and our commitment to the future of national security, migration, management in Sierra Leone. Today's unveiling of our new uniforms is more than a change of appearance. It is a transformation of our, of our identity. These uniforms symbolize a modern professional and dynamic Israeli immigration department that is equipped to face the challenges of today's world. A uniform is not just a fabric, it is a brick bandage of honor, authority, responsibility, and it reflects our discipline, unity, unity, and the trust that the people of Sierra Leone reimpose in us. For officers, it is a reminder of the values that hold integrity, vigilance, and service to the nation. The immigration department is at the very heart of our nation's security apparatus. 
We are the gatekeepers of Sierra Leone borders. Thanks for the safeguarding of Sierra Leone's borders. Send the safeguarding our sovereignty, maintaining law and order at the point of entry, and facilitating the smooth and smooth movement of people for economic growth and national development. In a rapidly globalizing world, the complexities of migration are ever evolving, and with the, that comes an increase of responsibility to ensure that migration is managed effectively and securely. Properly governed migration is a power drive, powerful driver of, of development. Left unregulated, it poses risk to peace, security, and social cohesion. Our presence at this nation, our presence at the nation's borders, is not just a necessity. It is a strategic imperative. The new uniforms with their enhanced security features and the modern design are a symbol of our preparedness to confront future challenges. While also reinforcing the confidence the government and the city of the nation have in us, ladies and gentlemen, let me take a moment to reflect on the transformative journey of our department. Just under one year of my administration, I repeat, just under one year of my administration, we have made major progress in modernizing our institution, enhancing our operational capacity, building a more agile immigration service. First, we have implemented comprehensive administrative reforms to streamline our operations, our operations and improve transparency and promote accountability. By reducing bureaucratic inefficiency, we are now either equipped to deliver service, our service more swiftly in an effective and efficient manner. Second, our service delivery has been remarkable. Improvements, this remarkable improvement. The speed and accuracy with which we now process applications, issue of passports and manage visas have greatly enhanced customer satisfaction and reinforce our credibility. As a department that operates its excellence, as a department that operates its excellence, the top, top, arrangements are well advanced to decentralize. I repeat, arrangements, number two, arrangements are well advanced to decentralize, roll out the processing of passports by the end of November 2024. In our three districts, I repeat, arrangements are well underway. This is important for the public. It is important for the audience also. Because immigration is moving to the new direction. We are now moving forward to decentralize our operations across the country. So, this rollout will be extended to, this, furthermore, this rollout will be extended we will be extended to two of our foreign missions in London, United Kingdom, and Washington, D.C., the United States of America also. Reason being, reason being, today, you find people calling from overseas, America, England, Europe, calling parents, friends to help them, I mean, facilitate, renew or refreshing of passports from applications. But today, only my administration, I negotiated to make sure that at least Washington DC and London, and in our missions, they'll be in charge of processing our passports. Of course, we'll be in charge of navigating the necessary I mean, uh, applications also. <laughs> Furthermore, our efforts in improve revenue collections have been equally impressive. By tightening our collection of mechanisms and addressing leakages, we have seen substantial gains contributing directly to national development and reinvestment in our own operational capacity. Fifth, we have strengthened our logistic capabilities. With new vehicles, modern communication tools, and upgraded infrastructure, we have equipped our officers to perform at, the best, at their best, whether they are stationed at headquarters or in remote border locations. Six, our partnerships on the international stage have never been stronger. Through agreements with organizations like the International Organization for Migration, the IOM, and collaboration with European Union partners, the United States of America State Department, the Department of Homeland Security, we are now better positioned to address border crossing security challenges and stay ahead of evolving migration patterns. These alliances allow us to leverage global best practices and harmonize our efforts with international frameworks. Seventh, we have expanded our team 
recruiting 115 staff to fill critical roles, and more are on the way. This new wave of talent ensure that we meet growing demands of our work and expand our reach across the country, while maintaining the highest standards of professionalism. Lastly, our commitment to training has been unwavering. We have invested in a specialized training for officers in areas such as border security, fraud detection, and the use of modern technologies, ensuring that they are equipped to handle the complexities of the 21st century migration work. For the first time since the department was established in the 1940s and 1950s, 250 immigration officers and border patrol officers successfully underwent three day basic training, law enforcement training from the 25th to the 27th of October 2024 at Sierra Leone Peacekeeping Law Enforcement Academy. In this time. The objective of the training was to capacitate my staff with special specific skills and techniques that will enable them to perform their duties with the introduction of the new security uniform. The specific objectives of the training were as follows. To ensure security personnel understand the dynamics around putting on uniforms, improve skills, skills of officers in prevention, detection, and investigation of crimes in both internal and external operations. Increase intelligence mechanism currently used by the department in our general operations. Access the physical fitness of officers in line with providing required security standards and great skills. In conclusion, in conclusion, today's event is more than a uniform launch. It is a milestone in the evolution of the Israeli immigration department. We are moving forward, stronger and more prepared than ever to protect our borders save guides our people and contribute to national and regional security. To my fine, diligent and hard-working staff of the immigration department, I repeat, to my fine only heads of institutions, both estates, the chief immigration officials. Mr. Moderator, good morning to you. The security sector is honored to join this new uniform represents more than just a wardrobe update. It signifies a profound transformation within our security services, underscoring the pivotal role of the modernized and empowered education services in our national security architecture. As frontline defenders of our borders, Immigration officers are essential to protecting Sierra Leone's sovereignty while facilitating the secure movement of people and goods. In today's complex and fast evolving global landscape, their responsibilities have grown broader, touching on issues critical to our national status. This uniform serves as a reminder of the far-reaching responsibilities immigration officers hold. But also in areas such as cyberspace, the economy, and international relations. The officers who wear this uniform embody the face of Sierra Leone pacifying our core national security values, transparency, commitment, and respect for human dignity. As we continue to reform and modernize our security institutions, let this uniform be a test and the unwavering commitment of this department to its mission. The security sector recognizes the values of interagency cooperation of our security institutions working to ensure a safe, safer nation. The security sector acknowledges the transformative leadership of Honorable Alusain Kane, under whom the Immigration Department has redefined its role 
within the national security architecture. His forward thinking approach has integrated immigration processes with Sierra broader security objectives, recognizing immigration as a critical line of defense, including organized crime, human trafficking. This alignment not only bolsters our national security, but also reinforces collaborative efforts with our institutions' national challenges. Honorable Kanan's dedication to professionalism, human resource development, and unity across ranks has elevated the department's standards, fostering resilience and commitment that resonates across the security sector. His inspiring leadership has created a more secure, cohesive, and forward-looking immigration framework that strengthens Australian security posture, enhances our readiness against emerging threats, and fosters interagency collaboration. His enduring impact marks him as a transformative leader and profoundly connected with Australia's national security goals. In celebrating this moment, we not only commend the Immigration Department, but also the broader security sector, as each institution has recognized the pivotal role that immigration plays in our collective mission. Let us move forward together with renewed focus and determination as we work to build a safer and secure service. Let me thank you all for listening. Thank you very much, the National Security Coordinator. He has actually let us know that immigration is core to security arrangements in this country. And for giving us confidence that we will continue to work together. Okay, thank you. The next statement will come from the Human Resource Management Office. You may wish to know that civil service is the life of the public service servants as civil servants. And the Human Resource Management Office is the personnel office that deals with the civil service on the day-to-day -day basis. So almost all the staff in the industry are civil servants. It's important that the personnel live in the civil service time. This is it made as it's very important to the issue. So we have from the Director General of the Human Resource Management Service, I invite Mr. Usman Manuel for a short statement. Thank you, the Secretary to the Vice President, Mr. Baba Kochu, uh, the Honorable Ministers here present, uh, Air Force Security Agencies, the Chairman for the Service Commission, the Secretary to the President, and ladies and gentlemen. Um, rightly, as the Secretary to the Vice President has highlighted to you, the Human Resource Management Office <coughs> is pivotal in, in supporting the Immigration Department as a partner in the provision of a discipline border patrol security forces. Um, on that note, I would also want to bring your attention to the Chief Immigration Officer speech, where we mentioned that uh, the uniform is just not a, a fabric, but it epitomizes a symbol of discipline. So on that note, as part of the Human Resource Management Office mandate, the new uniform, Uh, it should be viewed that the new uniform will serve as a symbol of discipline and unique identity for the immigration department's personnel and human resources, for the improvement of the, with the security agencies in the drive to strengthen border security. On that note, 
it, once that one is achieved, it will also improve the monitoring of good, the, the movement of people, goods and services to the country. And for the Human Resource Management Office, our own focus here is discipline. Because sometimes with the discipline in immigration course, the, 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 the aspirations of government to secure um, a very healthy border coast for the free movement of people and goods will be enhanced. So on that note, the Human Resource Management Office will always provide the support to the immigration department in the management of its personnel because managing human resources is a key aspect and it is very, very difficult. So the Chief Immigration Officer has really stepped forward in really ensuring, as you can see here, this, in this occasion, that he has gone so far that Sierra Leone, the Chief the Immigration Department, has a unique uniform which symbolizes discipline and commitment to the achievements of his goals. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Bangura. Ladies and gentlemen, I said the Human Resource Management Office deals with the day-to-day -day management of personnel in civil service. The next statement will come from the institution that does the recruitment. That's how structured the civil service is. The next speaker is the person who does the recruitment and leaves the day-to-day -day management to the Human Resource Management Office. We we'll have a statement now from a quintessential retired civil servant. Somebody who is an embodiment of both retirement and provincial administration. In fact, his retirement completed a list of provincial goals in the public service. His Excellency, the President, Dr. Julius Adamio, gave the responsibility of the public civil service, that is, the Public Service Commission Chairmanship, to a very renowned retired civil servant. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I will invite the Chairman of the Public Service Commission, Mr. K. Oba, for a short statement. Honorable Minister, President, the Chief Immigration Officer, distinguished heads of the security, various security forces present. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and happy to be part of this historic event, the unveiling of the new uniforms for the Immigration Department.